Okay, hello. Um, it's been a while since I've made another tutorial, so I'm going to make one tonight. And I've, um, I've really haven't been feeling it, um, especially with what happened um, just a few days ago. They, YouTube demonetized uh, hundreds of my videos. And after all that work that I put in and all that stuff, that, that was just like, that it's, it's been really stressful and um, I kind of just didn't want to do it anymore. And with that being said, also nobody really cares about what I'm doing. They don't even hardly watch the video. So I just, I haven't been feeling it. Uh, and people just, they, they, they don't even bother with it. They just unsubscribe. So I've just been losing subscribers. So, but today I'm going to be showing you how to place traps and um, how to um, place mines, stuff like that, and Fallout in the creation kit. And it's going to be a pretty, pretty simple tutorial. You'll be able to follow along. There's not many steps to it. It's quite easy. And hopefully I could get this working in, a, in just a couple of moments. I already have everything... Um, kind of uh, set up I've created this room and um, with the room created I mean I'm assuming that you probably already know how to create your own interior cells and all that stuff if you if you don't there's many tutorials on how to do that I'm gonna make my own later on about that and also uh, as well you can just use you can place them anywhere in the Commonwealth so it's a few steps so I'm gonna get to it this is the way the way that I like to do it and um, normally since I already looked up everything um, this is where you find it like traps they already did everything for you so you look and pack in and in your filter just look for traps and they got uh, traps that go on tables traps that go on walls and you got uh, you can either have one that just chooses a random weapon for you or you could choose missile a pistol rifle or so shotgun um, there's also uh, traps that you place on tables same old stuff and um, also I'm going to be showing you how to place mines and that you can find the mines under special effect over here and it's under where is it special effect projectiles here it is so the mines are these ones bottle cap mines cryo mines frag mines and so forth so I'm gonna go back to um, searching for that elevator thing that I was looking at and that would be under world objects and static but I mean of course you can use a table but I just want to use this for demonstration purposes and I'm going to use a quarry elevator stand button stand so that uh, I just place it on top of this thing so let me make a few of these just place them on um, several several units apart and I think four is enough to to demonstrate with and so this is how you make traps so you drag one of these pack-ins in here like the um, the missile pack and Okay, I'm going to want to turn this around so that it shoots in this direction. I believe that this thing's not necessary here. It just, I guess, I don't know why they put, put this in the packing, but um, I guess I could delete that. Everything else is set up, so it doesn't matter. And uh, put in a pistol pack. One for this one. And I'll put one for the rifle. And I'll put one for the shotgun. I 
I'm just going to get rid of these things here. And the next step that I need to take, because these things are not going to fire, there's no, um, there's no way that it can fire because it doesn't know that anything's passing through it. This thing's just, this thing's just uh, aesthetic purposes so that you know what direction it's going to face. So, I look for an activate self, a default activate self trigger. And I scaled it to uh, about the size of where I'd probably want it to trigger. You probably want to make it just big enough that when the when the player is passing by, that it will shoot and it will more than likely hit the player. But there's a slight chance that might that it might miss because if it's too early, then it's gonna miss. It's gonna shoot before. If it's too, um, if it's too close, it's gonna shoot after. So you just want it just enough. I, and I think that looks pretty good. I'm just using it for demonstration purpose, purposes, anyways. So, <clears throat> come on, it's not scaling. So I'm just going to copy this, duplicate that, and make a couple of these. All right, so all, all these traps are placed, and... I'm going to save it, just to make sure. I save it with Control S, and I'm going to check here, see where it's linked, the activate parents. So this thing, um, everything's already set up, but this thing, the activator, needs an activate parent, because everything else is already set up. So I hit New, and I select this self-activate activate self trigger, and I can give it a delay if I wanted to, just... Uh, if I need for any purpose to um, kind of tweak it a little bit, well, I'm, I'm going to put zero, so. Uh, okay, so I would say that looks good. And do the same thing for this one. Just select that activate self trigger. And again. And do that for all the traps. And that's pretty much it. That's how you set up traps. Everything's all set up, and I'm going to test it out in game. All right, so here I am in the game, and there, as you can see, there, there are my four traps. And if I walk through the trigger, then uh, these uh, guns, sh they should start firing. So, as you can see, that worked just fine, and if I want, I can still take these. And that's about it. Now to show how to uh, place mines. Alright, so here I am back in the editor again, and uh, now I'm going to start placing some mines, and show you how to do that. It's a lot, it's actually a little bit easier, so all you really got to do is you go to... Uh, wasn't miscellaneous it was special effect and projectile and look for anything that is a mine and you got bottle cap mine so I'll just place that right there I'll place a cryo mine I'll place a frag mine to put them a little bit further apart because these things are much more um, how do I say it they they cause a lot more damage. So a nuke mine. And make sure that it's not too close to the COC marker. A plasma mine. 
and a pulse mine. And um, by the way, to um, get everything like the lights to show up and all the triggers that I place, I just uh, push the M key and I push it again and I hide everything. So, all right, that's it. All the mines are placed. I don't have to do anything else. Okay, so here I am back in the game, and as you can see, there are uh, all the mines that I just placed, as well, this, as well as the traps. And if I get too close to this mine, it should activate and start making a beeping noise. Oh, there it goes. That's one. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get near this one. I want some nuke. Let me try this one. Oh! Okay, that one was the nuke. <laughs> I think it just blew up all the mines. Yeah, okay, so it looks like it did blow up all the mines. But, uh, that's pretty much it. That's how uh, you place mines. And I'm lucky to be alive. Okay, so back in the editor, and I'm just going to go over some uh, other different ways that you could set up traps, and um, there's uh, various ways that you could set up traps. You don't have to um, do it that way. Do it by You don't have to set it up from a trigger. You can actually do it from an activator and set up like uh, laser trip wires and stuff like that. So I'm just going to cover a little bit of um, these different, um, these other different ways that you could uh, set something up. So... I'm just going to add a table here real quick. Uh, this one's probably too small. Um, I would say something like this. And I'm going to put a monkey, monkey trap. Um, basically what this thing does, I guess you could like attach it to a faction or something. And, um, it could be like a, it could ring like an alarm or something. You know, alert some raiders. As you can see, this thing already has a trigger set up. So if I walk through this, um, the monkey will will turn on, and um, I guess if you attach it to a faction, um, it will alert the faction. So there's that, and there's also this thing that um, in the activators, which is in world objects activators, and I'm gonna look for grenade. Okay. Uh, yeah. Where is it? Ah, oh, there it is. I guess medium would be all right, and I make a, co a couple of copies of this. What's it doing? All right. So. I can put a couple of these, like this. Just control D to, to duplicate them all. So there I have a bunch of, um, I have a bunch of grenades. And uh, the other thing, I'm gonna look for a tripwire here. See what I got. Make handmade tripwires, laser tripwires, laser wall tripwires. Um, I'll just use a laser tripwire then, and basically, if I walk through this area right here, then all those grenades should fall. And the way to do that is just like setting up a, a trigger, since it's, it's an activator, all I gotta do is select all my, um, my grenades. Push the, uh, I forgot what it's called, um, the hyphen key, and uh, set activate ref, and select that um, tripwire, hit do, make sure that it's, it's all attached to it, so, okay, so that looks good. Now the monkey's set up, and now all these grenades are set up. So, um, if I wanted to as well, I can make it. Um, this activator, um, or the monkey, actually trigger the um, the grenades to fall, but that's not really that important. 
I got everything set up. All right, so here I am back in the game, and there's the there's the monkey, and uh, there's the four or five uh, grenades up there, and the tripwire. So I'm gonna walk into the trigger where um, it activates the monkey. And now I'm going to walk through the tripwire, and all these grenades should fall, and activate. Yeah, so that's it. Alright, so that pretty much covers it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, you learned something new. Um, if uh, you like what I'm doing here, A. Subscribe and please check out my patreon. Uh, I have a big mod project that I'm working on I've been working on it for over a year now, and uh, it's a big world space It's very cool. Go and check it out www.patreon.com slash northern springs and here are some screenshots